What's going on everyone? This is Accurate Painter coming to you from our new page, Paint Society. And I can't wait to tell you what we got going on. Now some of you are new, are new to Paint Society and some of my old followers know me as Accurate Painter, which I still am. But I want to take this page in a direction to really show everything that paint and body encompasses. So underneath the Paint Society, we're gonna be working with do-it-yourself projects, yes, rattle cans, things that you're doing at home, I'm gonna show you, give you reviews. We're gonna review, review products themselves. We're gonna work with the actual, actual professional level. So we're gonna go into um, doing different collision repair. We're also gonna get on the road and visit different painters and see what projects they have. So welcome to Paint Society, and today on this episode, I'm gonna attempt to fix a little issue I had while painting just a little bit earlier today. So let's take a look at what happened and see if we can fix it. Okay, so as I was painting this bumper today, I was trying to get the lower area, and the cut just came right across and it hit it. So what I attempted to do is I put a little bit more clear coat on here. Now, a little more clear coat allow me the chance to possibly buff this. So what I'm gonna do right now is gonna take you through the process and see if I can actually get this crease out so I don't have to repaint this bumper. Okay, so for this project, we're gonna be using a different uh, types of materials from 3M, which is, makes a great system. They also have a new system out with the 8000 and eliminates compound, which we did demo here, which is awesome. And we'll be getting here soon so I can show that to you guys as well. We also are gonna be using sandpaper. What the sandpaper is gonna do is it's gonna um, cut down that clear coat and it's gonna get the clear coat that is at the bottom that's making it look like a crease. We're gonna bring the clear coat from the top to meet to look completely flat, all right? Now, I'm a little aggressive because I don't wanna waste my time putting a less aggressive scratch that's not doing anything. So I'm gonna start off with 800. I already have the mentality that I have to repaint this bumper, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to eliminate it 100%. So we're gonna use the 800 first, and we're gonna use the 3M block, and that's gonna help flatten it out, and from there, we can actually remove the crease. That's what I wanna do with this. Then, I'm gonna use a 1,000, two th uh, 1,500, 2,000, 3,000, and 5,000 grit sandpaper to refine that scratch so it makes it easier to buff when we use our one, two, and three. So let's see how we can do it right now and see if it works. Now, as we can see here, we started to sand the top of the clear coat. The crease is at the bottom, the unsanded. Since we're using a block, it's only gonna hit the top of the surface. So I'm gonna continue sanding until I don't see any more glossy areas. And that's gonna tell me that this actual crease has been leveled out. Okay, I'm feeling really good about it so far because I just did a few passes with the 800 and I can barely see any of the glossy left over. Okay. So what that indicates to me is that that little extra clear I put on the end to kind of fill it in, is doing its job. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna refine this 800 grit scratch with a thousand and then we're gonna 15, 2000 and we're gonna do this all on the DA and what the DA is gonna do is give me a less aggressive scratch than my actual hand. So what you're gonna see right now is change up the different papers and you're gonna actually gonna see this get a little glossier before we can buff it. So let's do that right now. Okay, so really good news guys. It's looking like it's gonna work out. What you saw me do is I refined the scratch. And what that does is the higher grit 
takes away the lower grit scratch, makes it easier for the compound to pull out those scratches and make a shine. Now the way that the compound works is it works with friction, okay? It works with the appropriate pad and that pad is spinning at a high rate, creating a heat combined with the compound, it's going to give you a shine. Now it's a fine line between too much and too little. So right now what we have is a bumper that almost looks like it's been buffed. And that's what 5,000 grit does. So that's gonna make my life really easy. So let me show you what I have here. So I have the compound, number one, that goes with the appropriate pad, and then number two and three. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna show you a little bit about the compounding. It's not gonna take too long because this bumper's just been painted. And let me tell you, freshly paint, fresh paint is easy to buff. So we're gonna do one, two, three on there. We're gonna shine it up, and let's take a look and see if we were able to save ourselves. All right guys, so you saw me use a three-step system. You saw the compound, then you saw the polish, and then you saw the swirl remover, which is a Ultrafina, which is gonna remove any of those holographs or streaks you might see the next day. So, before I show you this, guys, and end this video, remember that sometimes a defect can be fixed, all right? In this case, all we need to do is take a little bit of time with a little bit of knowledge to go ahead and fix our mistake. You'll be surprised how much sandpaper can actually help you in polishing when it comes to issues or defects in the actual paint itself. So, that's gonna wrap up this video. I hope you're gonna enjoy this new page. We're really gonna expand the uh, paint and body community under um, Paint Society. We'll take a look and I'll see everyone on the next one.